Today we're going to be doing intermediate. I'm going to show you traditional grip and I'm going to show you. This is Clayton Skinner. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Beat. Hello again. Welcome back to Beyond the Beat. My name is Clayton Skinner. And this episode is going to be part two of my two part series where I teach you Backcountry by Avenged Sevenfold. Avenged Sevenfold. So, in the last episode, part one, I showed you the, the beats. This episode, part two, is going to be the fills. Seems fairly straightforward. And I'm going to teach you how to put everything together. So, buckle up. So exercise one is, it can be a bit tricky if you're trying to read it. What you want to do is you want to actually listen to the song and try to count along to it. Um, for the first few bars, everything kind of lands on beat four. Uh, it's just a simple, uh, like, kind of uh, listen, to, listen to the pushes of the song. So like the... Dum, dum, dum. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> it's basically just on all those pushes, you just hit the cymbal followed by a single stroke roll, like You just gotta listen to the song. Um, you'll notice though, fourth bar, there's what's called a herta. A herta is a hybrid rudiment. Uh, I have videos explaining what a herta is. If you wanna know or learn, you can check it out. It happens twice, and then directly after that, it kind of winds down with another set of uh, eighth note single strokes. So it'll be like a and then it continues on with it. Um, and then later on down it, it's like the, but the sixth, yeah, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth bar, um, you have uh, a situation where you're gonna be playing single stroke roll, winding down on the toms while adding a cymbal here and there. So like I'm not gonna count it out because that would be such a pain in the ass. But um, if you listen to the song and you actually kind of, it, it shouldn't actually be a problem. This is actually fairly easy to, to pick up. Later on in the song, there's actually a variation to that last exercise. Um, it, the situation comes up again, the, where the what's being played. Only rather than being a single stroke pattern, like what happens in the first like three three or so bars, it actually does the herta pretty much right away. Boom, do 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 boom, beep 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 boom, and then it does a variation of it. Same thing, playing a herta, but you're gonna play like a wiping motion that'll go from the tom down into the snare. So it'll be like a bringing it down into it. So I'm going to give you the demonstration of that, and I'm also going to give you the actual example of me playing it. So, so check it out, listen to it. If you can get the last one, you should be able to get this one as well. It might take a little bit of practice because um, well, it, it is a little bit weird, especially if you're used to the last one. So uh, just take your time. Okay, so beat two. Uh, basically what's going to be happening now is you're going to be playing on, or if you're looking at the PDF, you're going to be playing on the floor tom and on the snare on one, three, one. Uh, on two and four, you're going to be playing like a one bass drum, two and a three, four and a one. Bat, da 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 bat, da 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 bat. Um, I suggest you actually just keep looping that over and over again until you feel comfortable doing it. Do it to a metronome, set the metronome so it's going like one, two, three, four, 
and just keep playing that over and over and over again. Basically, you do that twice, and then you do just a simple eighth note roll. Do it again. I don't know why I'm singing it for you because I'm going to actually show you a demonstration. So once you have that pattern down, there's actually uh, a little bit underneath, a few exercises underneath that will allow you to apply it to the song. Um, everything in this is, was all covered in uh, the first episode, so it's just basically that exact ex exercise you just did, and then it kind of leads into the into the beat. Uh, so just listen. I'll give you a demonstration with using the song. Exercise three is definitely the coolest fill in the song. Uh, it takes place very, very, very fast. It takes place about halfway through it. Um, this one is going to be one of those ones where you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do it over and over and over and over and over again. Um, what you're gonna do is, this is the first time like real 16th notes are being added to this, so that's how fast it is. It goes one, two E and a three E and a four, one E and a two E and a three E and a four. And then using like a quad kind of thing where you hit two hands, two feet. So boom, 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 uh, Take your time with it. I'll give you the demonstration. I'm gonna play it like uber, uber, uber slow. And then I'll s gradually pick up the speed and then do the same thing. Start it really, really slow, and then do it really, really fast. <laughs> Exercise four has a very familiar beat that we went over in the last video, uh, where we're gonna be playing Playing the quarter notes, one, two, three, four, on <clears throat> ride or hi-hat, doesn't matter. Playing the bass drum on the and, so one and two and three and four and. And then you're going to do that quad thing again, where you hit the two hands and then both feet. So, um, so follow along to it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So it's gonna be three bars, and you're gonna end on the bur beat one of the fourth bar. And then you'll start it up again. So take it slowly, listen to my demonstration, take it slowly, and then see how you do. Exercise five is something that you should just know how to do anyway. Um, regardless of whether you're playing the song, this is actually a really good exercise to just learn. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be playing a set of triplets with both our hands and our feet at the same time. Um, so you're gonna want to again start this really, really slow. The idea of this is to, it'll make the, the snare drum sound a lot heavier. That's how you're just gonna treat this. So it basically does this for like say the first bar and a half in this exercise, it does this for about the first bar and a half, followed by a three, four, one. But for the 
For the most part, I think you should just learn how to play the triplets with your feet and your hands at the same time. So it's just going to be like while your feet are going underneath, playing the exact same thing. And then we'll work on, or then try to do the exercise on the PDF. So you remember it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So like I've said before, metronome, and start it slowly. Um, all of these could benefit from playing it slowly. So I'm not going to keep beating a dead horse. Slowly. That's all you need to worry about. And again, all of these fills are basically just there to teach you how to play the song. You don't necessarily have to use them. You don't necessarily have to play them exactly as I wrote them. Again, remember this is an art. And you should try to come up with little things here and there that you feel comfortable playing. That's all I want to say. Well, that's all for this episode and this series for that matter. If you have any questions or comments, you can get a hold of me through the contact section at ClaytonSkinner.com. You can get a hold of me right here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want. Let me know how you thought. Let me know if you actually got anything from it. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more to come and I'll see you next time.